Good morning, welcome back to Other Mints Without Any Tits. It's Christmas, we're Christmas baking. So hopefully you've watched uh, the one out before this, the chocolate concrete, because you'll see why. Um, and you, can't, you can't see my t-shirt, but you, you go, go look at that video and see my t-shirt. I'll put a link up here, go and see what's, what's happening and why I'm making what I'm making. So we'll go straight into it today. Um, I am making a chocolate Malteser cake. Uh, so this is one of the requests for uh, Christmas Day, for our Christmas Day dessert. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it a bash. Fairly easy recipe, before you get to decoration of course. So I've weighed everything out, uh, and I'll just chuck it in a bowl and we'll get mixing. So you want 125 grams of uh, self-raising flour with a half a teaspoon of baking powder. You want 125 grams of caster sugar, this time. You want 125 grams of softened butter. Now I've just put this in the microwave for a few minutes. Uh, not a few minutes, a few, a few seconds. Of course, if it, if it were a few minutes, it'd be on fire by now. A few seconds, just to kind of soften it up. I've got 40 grams of uh, cocoa powder. Throw that in as well. And I've got three eggs. Now I'm just going to give this a bit of a mix as it is, just to kind of get the butter going and make sure that I don't, I don't get clouds of flour and cocoa. And then uh, three eggs are going to go in. Now the recipe does say to line a pudding basin to go into the oven. Now I have done some research on this. I have got some pudding basins, you know, what, that you make Christmas pudding in. The, plastic ones and they do say they are not oven safe they're all right for the steamer but not for the oven and I was like no so what do I do so I've got a ceramic pudding basin and I've just lined it with some like greaseproof uh, non-stick parchment if you don't have that as long as you make sure there's a lot of I've got a delivery it's Christmas it's delivery is left right and center um, as long as there's lot of, plenty of grease on the bowl, it shouldn't stick. But because it's in a bowl, I want to make sure it doesn't stick. Because I, I, I can loosen off the sides, I can't loosen off the underneath of it. So, that's the GoPro. I was, I was going to set the GoPro up to, um, to do this. But again, for what goes in, who wants a close-up of me tipping some, uh, some flour into a bowl? So that's kind of mixed a little bit. I might need to pop over there and give it a mix with the actual, with a proper whiskey, electric whiskey in a minute. But we'll just get that going for now. So I'm gonna pop into there three medium sized eggs. And that is all we need at the minute. Once this is mixed together, this batter mix, it goes into there, into the oven, 180 degrees for around about 20 minutes. Or until, if it doesn't look quite baked, put a skewer in. Sorry, right, Neil's in there with them. Be nice actually. To... That's definitely a delivery. So I'll get this mixed up, get it put into the oven. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. I might need to, I'll, I'll go, go and give it a quick miss, uh, mix with the uh, proper mixers. Get it put in. Um, in fact, no, it's not 20 minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you lies here. Bake it in the oven at 180 for 45 minutes. Put it in the middle of the oven though. Okay? So stay there. See what it looks like when it comes out and then we can get decorating it. So, the cake is out. Now, I'm not gonna lie. It's not quite turned out as I imagined. So, um, I'll put a picture up of what the recipe said it should look like. And then obviously you'll see this doesn't quite fit the bill. However, what I'm gonna do, I am gonna make the most of it because it doesn't matter, I can, um, I can fix it, I can do something with it. So, next step is to cover it with buttercream or uh, I'm gonna use some icing. Use buttercream if you want, but I found this when I went shopping and it's very Christmassy, it's chocolate orange flavor icing. I thought that sounds perfect. So I'm gonna use this to start with and cover the outside of the cake with the icing. And then I'm gonna pop it onto um, this cake stand. Now I, I bought this a few weeks ago from Ikea. It's coming, gonna come in really good handy actually. So I'll pop it on there and then we'll decorate it on there and it can stay on there for, 
you know, for the, for the viewing pleasure of the, uh, of the people who are going to eat it. So I'll start off by just getting some of this chocolate um, orange icing. My hands are clean, don't worry, I have washed them. I'll try and just kind of like spread it all over. Now this, this is not, <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to become quite apparent that baking may not be my forte. Maybe I'm just not using the right tools, I don't know. But that's not working very well. I'm going to bin that off. Let's just use a spoon. So much easier. There we go. So I'm going to fill um, all the little voids and just completely cover the outside of this with the icing. And then we're going to stick uh, Maltesers to it. I've got two massive boxes of Maltesers here, which I bought two big boxes because I thought I was going to need two big boxes. Uh, I think I am now. More for me to eat at least. So, uh, yeah, get it nice and covered. There. So we shall sit this into the middle of the, um, the thing. I'll go wash my hands and then we'll come and start decorating it. So it's literally just a case now of getting your Maltesers. I mean, you can use anything else if you want. You can use other, um, other chocolates that are available. And it's just a case of sticking these all the way around. So I'm going to put some around the bottom. It's more of a decoration at the bottom. Oh, maybe I will need both. Oh, there you go. That one just stuck on there. Maybe I will need both, both boxes. But there's definitely going to be plenty spare for me to uh, eat later on. That's for sure. So next we drizzle some white chocolate melted white chocolate all over so it looks a bit like a Christmas pudding and you know on, on top that's a theory anyway it probably doesn't quite look like that but you know it doesn't matter. It all tastes the same, doesn't it? It all tastes the same. So once I've done that, I'll just give it a bit of a... a uh, mooch around. So you can kind of like go down a little bit down the sides but not too much because otherwise it might break. We drizzle some white chocolate melted white chocolate all over so it looks a bit like a Christmas pudding and you know on, on top. That's a theory anyway. Probably doesn't quite look like that, but you know, it doesn't matter. It all tastes the same, doesn't it? It all tastes the same. So once I've done that, I'll just give it a bit of a a uh, mooch around. So you can kind of like go down a little bit down the sides, but not too much because otherwise it might break. And then I'm going to put some Christmas sprinkles and I've got some Christmas sprinkles. So I'll put a few, um, 
few candy canes on the top. We'll put a few Christmas trees on the top. Uh, we'll put some gingerbreads on the top. And finally, a few hundreds and thousands on the top. Which are also going everywhere. So that is my Christmas pudding cake. It doesn't quite look like a Christmas pudding, granted. But here it is, nonetheless. What do you think? Do you think you'll give it a go yourself? Don't forget, I will put all the, the recipe um, on the end of the video and in the description so you don't need to have made that much of a, a deal about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you um, more importantly have had it because by the time you see this Christmas will be over. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas and, a, and I hope the new year is a better one than the last had the last year in the last two years. I know what I mean. I'm getting tired now. I'm getting ready for it. You see it's, it's ten past three and I've been in the kitchen for five hours nearly. I've, I've made all sorts. Anyway this is the, the, uh, the Christmas cake. The chocolate Christmas pudding recipe. Chocolate Christmas pudding, Maltesers, chocolate recipe. I don't know what it is. It's a chocolate cake called a Maltesers. That's what it is. So um, if, you if you liked it, hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time in the Oven Mitts kitchen. So take care, stay safe. See you later.